Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Diana. And if you uh, don't know, I do couponing and CVS hauls, Dollar Tree hauls, Walgreens hauls. I do deal breakdowns for you guys, try to help you guys save some money along with me. So um, today is a quick Dollar Tree uh, video. I just went there, I got only a couple of things. Um, but I also wanted to show you what I had uh, made with the couple of Dollar Tree items that I had hauled in uh, yesterday's video. Um, it's nothing special, but I just thought it was very simple. Um, so, basically, um, I used a repurposed uh, Yankee candle. So I just cleaned it out. And the top is somewhere, you know. Um, so it had a really good smell. So um, what I did is... For you know, I stuffed it with that Excelsior, and um, I closed it uh, overnight and let like the re you know the residual smell from the candle kind of seep in. And then I just had these hydrangeas that I got at the Dollar Tree. I you know clipped them down and um, I just made you know it's on camera. It's reading like very plain, um, but you know in the corner that I want to use it in next to I just have. Um, a very simple beige color kind of you know wall sc color scheme going on with gray um and my bed set is the accent with some red and gold gray and uh so i had gotten that gray frame um so i have one on each side now and this is just for his side and i just wanted something simple for the spring that will always happen in my videos always i don't know and i'm very sorry um, my phone just doesn't stop. So anyway, I wanted to show you, you know, I just made a quick little, you know, I didn't even have to get the glass. I repurposed the candle. So, you know, for two bucks, um, and I have plenty of that Excelsior left over. I thought this was really cute. You know, in the corner, it, it doesn't read that great right now, but in the corner, it looks very simple and spring. So I wanted to show you, you know, you guys can repurpose candle. Um, jars, especially the ones from like uh, Bath and Body Works, that when they do like the ones in the mason jars, I have one up here, I have one over there. They're so um, nice, and actually, some of them have like a tapered bottom. Uh, th there's so much you can do with those, so I repurpose them a lot and do things like that. Sometimes I fill them with sand and you know use them for my brushes. A um, couple of things, and then my Dollar Tree hole is small, but you know whatever. Let's just get into that. Um, I did need a birthday bag for a mail, so I got this big happy birthday, the black, the orange, you know, that'll work. And I, I did need the, you know, bigger size, so um, I just, you know, thought it was nice. And uh, then I did get a couple of food items. My mom likes blueberry muffins, and I happen to see Marie Callender's. I know she likes some of the, her um, frozen products. Um, and maybe pies or something. So these make a half a dozen, which is perfect. I can't say I like blueberry that much, and I don't know if um, Nick does. So um, I don't know. I just noticed they say microwavable. I, I'm not, I mean, that's kind of cool, I guess, if you're like in a rush or whatever. Um, you can make them in the microwave, but basically it just takes an egg, uh, a third cup of milk, two tablespoons of vegetable oil and um, actually it's not giving you directions on how to cook it any other way it actually says to spray bo spray bottom and sides of microwave safe muffin pan and place muffin liners in muffin safe pan oh my god does that mean I can't make these in the <laughs> Um, no, there's got to be, okay, no, in the oven. For a minute, i seen only, like, Spanish. I'm like, oh, my God, that's so odd. Okay, no, you can make them in the oven. Anyway, blueberry muffins from Mother's Day, a half a dozen, because I'm not too fond of blueberry, and, uh, you know, a dozen wouldn't go with just, you know, two or three people. So I thought that was good for a dollar. Um, I'll make them for her Mother's Day morning. And, um, along with her Mother's Day, you know, I always make her a little 
you know, package with lottery tickets and, you know, some beauty stuff that she needs. So, again, I had some of those wet and wild coupons, and I had a 50 cents off of any product. So, I got her this very pale um, pink, tickled pink, and it's, um, it's good. It's not, you know, uh, you could tell it's not old or anything like that, and it's just a very pretty color. So, um, I thought for the spring when she goes to get her manicure... Um, she can bring that. She sometimes brings her own nail polishes. So, And then um, I've been trying to get my car cleaned together. And the one thing I don't have is a multi-purpose cleaner. And um, I don't really like Armor Roll. I really like Meguiar's. But um, it's just a multi-purpose cleaner. So, And I always like to have one for... I have like a trunk organizer. And I do keep like... Um, microfiber cloths and things because when my car is clean I like to kind of just go over it like you know well when I get in it so I got a small um, all-purpose cleaner um, they had every single one they have you know for armor roll it's not bad you could get like all of their little the wheel cleaner the wheel shine uh, tire foam the armor roll protectant the all-purpose cleaner, you can get like all of those and then like a sponge and a bucket and a microfiber cloth and you could give like, you know, um, that would be like a nice little Father's Day gift from like a child, you know, they're, they're small size so he can keep it, you know, um, all in his truck or his car. Um, I just think that's a really nice gift for a man who likes to, you know, wash his car or needs to wash his car. <laughs> so... You know, I needed the all-purpose cleaner. I have everything but that. And then um, another food item. I've been digging those Aldi chocolate-covered pretzels. So I found these Landmark Connections. Yes, Landmark Connections, four ounces for a dollar. Aldi is like five ounces for a dollar twenty-nine. So not bad. And um, I'm going to give them a shot. I've been really, like, craving these. So, you know... They're not the greatest, but um, I wanted them. And I love these. Um, you know, this is like my favorite drink. They're super expensive. Uh, the San Pellegrino. This is the lemon um, limonata. Uh, it is an Italian tradition for sure. Um, I love it. It's not good for you, but, um, you know, occasionally it's okay. It's got a ton of sugar, but... Um, they're so expensive, you know, for a case of six, it's like, they're like a dollar a piece. So this wasn't any great deal, but, um, I just was in the mood for one. So had to have it. Shout out to all my guineas. They know what this is about. Please nobody take offense to that. I don't mind if anybody calls me that. So it is what it is. And my last and final item was a washi that I actually don't have. I try not to buy, like, the same washi twice because I don't really use it that often. But I did need some spring-type ones for my planner. So um, this has just some cute little flowers. And I'm sure you guys have seen this. But um, it's cute. So I have printed some black and white pages off the internet. That's how I do my planner, my own notebook, and then I do my own print printables. And I try not to use too much colored ink, so therefore I make the design up in washi and stickers and things like that. I don't need a fancy planner. I can just, you know, make up with stickers and different things, you know, like washi and those kind of, you know, any cheap things that I find. So um, that was it for the things that I got at Dollar Tree. And I wanted to show you my beautiful... They actually smell good. If you take a nice Yankee candle and clean it out and just leave the residue and stuff it with some grass or whatever, uh, leave it overnight closed, just a little tip. Um, it smells great. And that is it, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are new, please subscribe. And I am definitely making that Walmart clearance, so stay tuned. Bye.